crack emerges in APC over attack on Fayemi. My dear, it's happening now. There is already cracks on the wall. APC is falling apart. Apart from, you know, mismanagement of government, showing to Nigerians that they are not people who can be reckoned with and that the country is really falling apart. They are now attacking themselves. You know, when things wants to destroy, eh? If you want to destroy something, eh, you, you start from within. Mm. If you want to really have a really good effect in destroying something, it's from inside out. And that's what is happening to APC. You know, because Nigerians have been praying. The way APC has been, you know, taking this nation and things have been going. I mean, Nigerians have been praying. And APC now, things are falling apart. They are destroying themselves, exposing themselves. Guess what? What did Fire Me say? Fire me, uh, the governor of Ikiti State said that they should vote out APC in 2023. And since then, you know, he's been seriously attacked for, you know, uh, they said because uh, he does not like Tinubu and that uh, he feels he cannot get the presidential ticket. So he knows Tinubu might probably get it. And so he's speaking already against Tinubu and he's been attacked. And now cracks are already showing. Things are falling apart. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Cracks emerges in APC over attack on Fayemi. Former senator, spokesman, and the national chairman of the Southwest Agenda for 2023, Senator Ade Dayo, Ade on Wednesday, accused Ekiti State Governor Kayode Fayemi of plotting to, discrimin to discriminate and destroy APC before Nigerians and destroy the party in general. Adeyeye urged party leaders to call Fayemi to order that because of his sentiment towards Ashiwaju Amen Bola Tinubu, he has asked Nigerians to vote out APC in 2023. He knows fully well that Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, the national leader of the party, is looking forward to contesting for presidency. And because he knows he will not be given the party's ticket, he has gone on now to start propagating and telling Nigerians to go against APC. He said the governor's action and authorance has set a quick, deliberate steps aimed at disrupting the unity and the peace of the party. Victory and the emergence of APC to continuous ruling of Nigeria. This was contained in a statement signed by his media manager, Mr. Agboiga, in Edo Ikiti. The spokesman in response to the sack of APC critical chairman of Adoikiti Ward 8, Clement Afolabi, on the triumph of allegations of fostering with WASA, a group which has been conversing support for the presidential bid for APC national leader, Senator Ashiwaju Ahmed Bolatinobo. Adeyeye said, we condemn the statement made by the Nash, by the governor of Ikiti State against the national chairman and APC. He is working in anti-party activities to join forces with other party women and men of those who do not identify with what this party represents. He therefore called on the party leaders to do something immediately with regards to the offense of anti-party activities being propagated by the governor of Ikiti State in favor of another party against the presidential choice of our party man, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. He described the political happenings in Ikiti under Fayemi Watch as threatening to the unity of the party and moving forward. APC has therefore described the treatment of visited and the words said by Fayemi as a threat to the unity of the party. So things are falling apart in APC. What they said, I mean, things are beginning to fall apart and fast because then they feel that, um, you know, what he said, I mean, what he said was not bad. He didn't say anything bad in my opinion. I don't think he said anything bad. He only advised Nigerians to vote out APC. That if you think APC is not doing well, it's not a problem. 2023 is around the corner. And he said something to Nigerian youth that Nigerian youth should also look at the possibilities of, you know, uh, if they don't want, to, they should not go to Canada, because Canada rather stay, stay back in the country and vote for the people of their choice. And one of the things that Nigerian youth can do is vote out APC. If APC has failed, since he said that word, all hell has been let loose. Mm. 
In fact, one senator has picked him up and said he's destroying APC because he does not like Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. So he's going now out now to campaign to Nigerians against Tinubu concerning 2023. And this is an anti-party activity and blah, 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 blah. And they are trying to hold meeting now in order to get uh, Ashiwaju you know, to, you know that to you know conversing for Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, you know, saying that Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, he knows he wants to become, uh, he knows that Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu wants to contest, yes, and so he's going, he's going against him by instigating Nigerians against him. So this is the new plot, this is the new plan, this is the new thing that is ongoing. You see, and this is rather destroying APC. I mean, APC has already been destroyed already, okay? So, I mean, APC is already, is already down the train. It's already down there, okay? So, it's not a matter of whether they are trying to. APC is already, is already broken beyond, you know, recognition. APC is already destroyed already. APC is already gone. Because a party where you have a president that does not even, let's even start, let's even say he has done well. Communication. Is it not the blood of a relationship? Imagine you're in a relationship with, a, with somebody that you don't hear from. Will you not be skeptical that what is going on? Aha. So there is more to be than beneath the eyes on a more serious note. There are lots going on. And um, Nigerians need to really take this rather very seriously. There are lots of concerns currently now as we speak. Lots of concerns with regards to this leadership and all that is currently on ground. There are lots of concerns. And Nigerians need to wake up to the fact that if we don't, pick and pick wisely and we continue to allow this people to bring this their perspective into this country into uh, whatever is going on right now this will lead this country into further you know decay decay and you know evil and that's why everybody you and i we have the responsibility to ensure that our voices are heard because this leadership is no leadership at all these are set of people who are out there to ensure that the country is destroyed they do not mean well for nigerians at all not at all. Not at all. Not at all. So Nigerians be wise. Be very wise. Let's open our eyes. Let's see the truth as it is. Let's not allow anybody. Hmm? Let's not allow anybody to, you know, cause evil in this country. You know, because if Nigeria still remains at one in 2023, ah, then we have to really, you know, know what we are doing. Because this set of leadership are no leaders. They are a set of failed people. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.